<laughs> what was the keeper doing? The WeAreBrummies.com after match chat. We Welcome to the After Match Chat with me, Lee Harris. I give you a quick rundown of the action following Blues games home and away. And then we go to my favorite part of the show where fans leave me voice messages, giving me their thoughts and opinions. The WeAreBrummies.com After Match Chat After Match Chat this show is brought to you by wearebrummies.com. If you would like some blues related merchandise and perfect gift ideas, including socks, mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, and more, visit wearebrummies.com today. The wearebrummies.com After Match Chat After Match Chat The final score was Blues Free Preston nil. Blues created a lot of chances in the first 15 minutes. Around the 20 minute mark, Che Adams burst into the box and was bundled over, but the referee didn't give it as a penalty. Not much came from Preston in the first third of the game, but Lee Camp had to tip over an overhead kick effort from Preston. In that first half, Blues created chance after chance, but were unsuccessful. Moving into the second half, on the 46th minute, an absolutely bizarre moment as Kiftenbeld shoots from distance. You'd think it would be a routine save from the keeper. All he had to do was bend down and pick it up. But for some reason, he completely fumbled it and it went through his legs into the back of the net. It was an Enkelman-esque moment. Absolutely unbelievable, but we'll take it. But that goal spurred on the Blues. It was a wave of attacks after that. And on the 61st minute, Jack Magoma chests the ball, not once, but twice, and then smashes it into the bottom corner to make it 2-0. An absolutely brilliant display of skill from Mags. And on the 77th minute, Che Adams bursts down the left-hand side, opens up his body, and finishes into the bottom corner with ease to make it 3-0. A comfortable home win, we're still unbeaten at home, and we march up the table. Keep right on. The wearebrummies.com After Match Chat After Match Chat Right, I've got some messages, so let's take a listen. All right, Lee. Another, another good win at home, which was comfortable, really. 3-0. And it was all settled by uh, Kiffin and Bell's Waldy. 30-yard screamer, nutmegging the keeper. Probably won't see a better goal all season. Three uh, games in six days, two wins. I know we lost against the other lot, but three games in six days and two wins. Can't go wrong with that. Keep right on. Hi, Lee. Another great result. Gary Monk's blue tra train keeps rolling. Keep right on. Hi Lee, it's uh, John from All Green, just walking back from the ground. Uh, obviously the sirens are going, must be kicking off, I oh, know it's not. Um, I, I, <laughs> I've got to say, first half was a bit, ooh, referee wasn't giving us much, but second half, uh, I can honestly say first time in my life, there are definitely two Peter Enkelmans. I didn't actually see, because uh, I saw the uh, efforts, and uh, and then I turned away, talked to somebody and he was in. Couldn't believe it. Um, but Che Adams coming in from the uh, um, the, the left-hand side on his right foot, bearing on goal. It's all over, mate. He, uh, he buries them. Magoma's goal was good. Another clean sheet. I can't, I can't, I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I don't know what to say. Even my mum's in shock. Um, anyway, keep it on, mate. Uh, roll on next week and all the next games that are coming up. We're going to next... Uh, the next into the Christmas period uh, on a real high, you can see the confidence is up, especially that second half. Uh, outstanding second half, clean sheet, three brilliant goals, especially the first one. Two Peter and Cudman, son. Keep right on. Um, you are, mate, it's Brian Joe again. Um, brilliant, brilliant win. I didn't expect that at half time to end up uh, being 3 0, but bit of help from their goalkeeper to start it off and then some clinical finishing from Blues uh, meant that meant that we walked away with quite an easy win 
and uh, I think it's good that we've bounced back from the Villa game um, with uh, with two clean sheets and six points out of two games. So there's nothing better you can ask for, really. And uh, I, I mean, I, I'm I'm very happy with it. It just shows that we we had a bit of a blip, and uh, and we're back to normal now. Back back to uh, business as usual. Up to. Uh, you know, I don't know where we are in the, in the, in the table now, but um, still top 10, of course. And I, I love it, love it. I, I'm just over the moon. Um, you know, uh, you could have think a former Blues team maybe last year wouldn't have taken advantage of those opportunities. We wouldn't have put it to bed like we did today. So, mate. But, uh, but, but we did. But we did, and uh, that's the difference this season. So hopefully we can keep it up. We're getting more and more points on the board, and hopefully it's going to be a, a successful season this year. However it ends up, I think I think top ten for Blues, top twelve will be a very successful season. And we're just showing the Gary Monk effect. It's not it's not a one off. Um, it's not you know a, a run of form that'll end, and then it's going to be the same old Blues. No, it's not. We can have a blip, and uh, and we can continue pushing on in the way we are. Maybe I feel more optimistic than I should. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. 3 0 win at home. It's nice to, to be getting to extra time, you know, when there's five minutes added on and not having to stick the timer on and, and get worried uh, about the opposition getting a goal. But yeah, keep right on, mate. Up the blues. Love it. The we are Brummies.com. After match chat. After match chat. Wherever you're listening to this, make sure you like comment and share and if you're listening to this on youtube make sure you subscribe hit the bell button thank you very much for listening to the show and as always keep right on the we are after match chat after match chat